Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about one of the features of Cucumber which is Cucumber Expressions. So Cucumber Expressions are basically used to transform your feature file into a step definition file. So steps that you are writing within your feature file, right? Those steps need to be transformed within your step definition file. There are two ways of using it. One is Cucumber Expression, the second is Regular Expression. Of course, within a step definition file, you can use both of them. But within a single step, you need to choose either one of them. The benefit of Cucumber Expressions are that it will make your step definition file more readable. For example, it is something like this. This is your Cucumber Expression used step. So here we have a step which has used Cucumber Expression. Now, uh, suppose if there are different type of data types within your step definition file that you are transforming from your feature file. And in case there are regex being used and there are so many steps, so it can become less readable. But if you already know in the first look that yeah, this is a int, this is a float, this is a double, this is a string, this is a word, it will make your step definition file more readable so that is the main benefit of cucumber expression otherwise both cucumber expression and regular expression provide same kind of usage now uh, there are two types of parameter types mainly one is predefined and the second one is customized so talking about the predefined parameter types uh, these are the ones like integer for integers float for decimals then we have word word you need to understand like if there is it will match with a known white space uh, combination of a word so here you can see matches word without white space so whatever is a word it will match with that so within a banana if you have a space here maybe b a n and a n a like something like that so if there is a space it will not consider this banana as a space as a word right uh, literal meaning of word is being taken is being taken here right string uh, in case you have a string that you are passing from your feature file so the difference between a word and a string from your feature file perspective is that in word you do not need to pass any single quote or double quote in string you need to pass a single quote or double quote right so string can be uh, can include the white spaces as well so anything with which which is in between two double quote or uh, in between a single quote is a string anonymous it will match anything if you prov if you want to match anything any maybe string double float within uh, your feature feature step right then within your step definition you can define it as a bra uh, angular braces and nothing in between that this is known as anonymous as well then uh, big decimal uh, double for transforming your uh, decimal data types right so in case you within your feature file you want to use big decimal uh, like decimal number which is quite big in the nature and uh, maybe float is not able to capture it then you can use big decimal similarly double and the same thing is for integers as well right and then a custom parameter type we'll discuss it before doing that let me give you a quick very quick demo of uh, the predefined data type so here I have a given step in my feature file where I have used a word and a integer now from feature file by reading it it is clear because I haven't passed any uh, double quote or single quote here and here we can see we have a integer only so in your step definition you need to use something like int here and word here now I was saying that if there is a white space this will not match why because now cucumber is expecting that let me go here that there will be a n a i a space after i a space before i and there will be a word where there will be no white space but we have included a white space here so what we can do either we remove the white space or we want to use space then this will work because now it is anonymous and it will match anything right or you can use string here and you can say I want to pass 
something like this, right? So uh, this is how the predefined data types work, parameter types work in Cucumber. Now talking about the customized parameter types. Uh, before going through this custom parameter types, let me show you a quick EG example so that this concept will be more graspable. Now here we can see I have used uh, step I send get request to this particular endpoint. Now this get, it is not a word. I have used a custom parameter type here. This custom parameter type is HTTP method. So I have defined a parameter type HTTP method and what it is doing, it is converting this get whatever I have passed here. It is converting that get into a method. Now this method, if you see what is this method, this method is nothing but it is an enum provided by REST assured. This enum has these many values, get, put, post, everything uh, that uh, HTTP method can have, right? So I have used that enum here. Now where this transformation is happening? That means the conversion of this get, which is a string we can say, a word, right? In It will come as a word here and then we have transformed it how like here i am saying i have like this in form of a string i am saying that the input coming from the feature file is in form of a string and now what what values this string can have this string can have the values which we have defined here in form of a regex get put delete patch any any type of uh, http method that you want to define you can put it here then this came in form of string uh, it has been captured here and what does this mean this means the name of your custom parameter type which you will use in your step definition this is the return type this return type is same which we have here within the method of our step definition now going back and now this string we need to convert it into the enum value the enum value is like this and how we will do it we have a method value of right so you can use value of method here and this value of will take the string and it will convert it into a enum reference here right now once this enum reference has been achieved, here you can see uh, we have, it will give you the reference of this with the help of value of. And now if I go to my step definition again, I can get the value, whatever is, I can use it in the way I want to use it. Once I have this enum, maybe I want to use a switch case um, with the different, uh, different type of handling for different uh, meta types or I can pass it to other uh, other layer of my cucumber as well right and there I can apply switch case but the here main concept that we want to understand is how this transformation is happening this transformation is happening using this custom parameter type and let me try to execute this particular step uh, this particular scenario here So here we can see uh, the method is get. So it has been transformed uh, successfully, right? I have just used name uh, method of enum, predefined uh, name method of enum within Java. And this can be used to get the string value of your enum parameter type, right? So now if we try to go to the concept to understand it, we'll focus on uh, these four things as of now and in our future videos we will see what these two are doing but for now to coming to this like here we have the parameter type so in our example if I quickly show you we'll try to link it link this with this one right 
so this is parameter type annotation that we have used that means this parameter type is used to define our custom parameter types okay here we have so this is used to define our custom parameter types and then what it is saying is that we need to pass a regex regular expression here so that the values which are coming from feature file can be matched right then type name from method so this is quite understandable we want to have a return type here which we will use in our step definition method and then the param custom parameter type name this is the name which we will use in our step definition uh, where we are uh, defining our given when then steps and then this is the value which is coming from the feature file and this is where the transformation is happening in our case we can see the transformation happened here so here we can have any pojos as well suppose there is some uh, you want to pass some user detail maybe user's name user uh, age and then that name age or other parameters you can convert it into a pojo as well right so we'll, we'll see these kind of concepts in detail but for now for the starters i think we wanted to con uh, we wanted to cover only this this much for this uh, uh, this cucumber expression apart from that there are some other concepts as well which we see in detail in our future videos related to custom parameter type or transformations but there is a few more things that we want we can discuss which is like optional text like this is uh, self-explanatory so in case you want a particular uh, say here we have a good example say you have one particular uh, entity you want to use a singular thing maybe one cucumber and in case of multiple you want to use cucumbers so you do not need to define different step defs for it you can use a single step def where here you can see uh, in a small braces the optional text that will be there right and then the same method can be used for both of the uh, both of these statements within your feature file similarly we have alternative text of course you could have used the alternative text here as well cucumbers slash cucumbers but uh, this is ma meaningful in this case like here you have uh, same kind of functionality for both of the uh, both of the lines right so a belly a stomach means the same thing so you can use alternative text with the help of this uh, slash symbol here right escaping uh, just like in other languages we have escaping uh, for some special symbol or some predefined symbols which are being used for something else within a programming language we can have escaping here as well uh, within our step definition uh, so what you need to do uh, for example e, we have this kind of braces and here we have passed something in between it and these braces uh, as we have seen earlier like it is used for our uh, data types like string int or maybe our custom data types as well so to make cucumber understand yeah this is some uh, this is not related to that particular predefined braces we need to pass a backslash here a escaping sequence we can say and the thing is that we do not need to pass it before the closing braces just before the uh, starting braces we can provide and cucumber will understand it similarly uh, here we have an example of in case we want to escape the escaping sequence itself then you can have one more escaping sequence before that this is self-explanatory and this is regarding alternative uh, symbol so in case you want to escape it again you can have the escape sequence so this is all for the uh, cucumber expressions for now and thanks for joining in see you in the next video